idea about having a community in Houston, which is I think so rare. So today we're going into the next phase of the exciting videos we've put together with family members and footage that I've taken. So this is gonna end up being a 4640. This will be an option on the item later. Whether it be actual footage or photographs. It's an informal. But my art started about 11 years ago. I can't believe it's been that long when my father left this earth. And the pain was so intense that I decided to turn to some kind of a therapy, which was the art. I bought canvases at Michael's on Westland, not to sell art, but just to try and deal with why we are put on this earth to experience that much pain and why we have these kind of challenges of loving and then losing somebody that you can't explain until it happens So we don't discuss the dying process, as we call it, and when it happens, we don't know what to do. We can't have any way to go back to that person and discuss why they had to leave or what their purpose in life was if we never talked about it before, and we probably didn't because they were probably like, I'm always gonna be here. I really did my art for that healing process, and so I don't create for a career. A career is a byproduct of doing what you love kind of things happen on the earth in terms of you become successful at some level and you're able to touch more people with it But I did my art to help heal the world, whatever small part I could do. And just yesterday, a client came by, collector I haven't seen in five years, and she recently had lost her husband to a horrible disease, ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, which sometimes could be over a year to your process of your body slowly leaving. And she came to get a painting for her healing process. So that really showed me how magical art can be and by me staying on the path of my career I was able to help her five years later and if I had gotten distracted or decided not to do the art because of course building art career is not something that is the easiest thing to do I was able to do something to give back to help her in her healing process so that's why I create and you create whatever it might be for you, your passion. The universe or God, whatever you believe, brings you people into your life to help you evolve. Well, and I'm not talking the extreme of some books that are written about you attract exactly what you want in a mate, in a house and all that. Yes, all that does happen, but I'm talking about doing good for the world and then what comes back for that. So what I hope people to get out of these videos there's a collection of stuff that I was saying that's current and then stuff from my family old films I can't even believe they made and that I was able to find them the 10% that were not rotten and falling apart be able to see this process that we're in of life and looking at them in videos my ancestors and were they happy when all these were being made or were they worrying about a bill or something happening in the economy or uh, were they looking at their spouse at that moment like I can't believe you said that I'm so mad at you those little things that we let eat us up and our existence here is so fleeting to not waste it on things that don't matter because we're taught to worry and so we get trapped into that and then to snap out of that is difficult because what do we do with the free time? Well, why don't we maybe send love to somebody? Write it on your hand every day. <laughs> 
and do good. But that sounds so corny because we want to watch death and destruction on the news. This is the beginning of that process for me, for my life, is to create good. So as you go through these videos, I hope that that does something for you. And these will always be evolving and new things will happen. So I hope it becomes something that is an ongoing process to kind of watch as we keep changing in the art. But that's it for now, David. And then we'll cut all this up and I hope you enjoy some of the videos. <laughs>